This someone's this couch has bad wolf written on the side of it. The the graffiti the graffiti here is really is, is very detailed and elaborate in this game. I have to say they did a, they put they put some work into that. Did you ever have a leather couch when you were a kid? Uh, no, but I like I I knew people who did. I I, I always found it weird to sit on. My parents have uh when we were little mm -hmm. uh, I had a, my youngest brother was like two or three at the time. Yeah, we're couch shopping. And my youngest brother found that if he scratched his nails into the leather, yeah. it would leave a mark. And so he drew stuff onto <laughs> a display oh. model couch. Oh no! We had to end up buying it. <laughs> he got caught? Yeah. Oh god, how much was it? It was like, I think $2,100. Oh my god! Yeah. $2,100?! Yeah, and I mean, this is back like 2002, so. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Was it at least a nice couch? It was okay, but it was a leather couch. It was weird. And it had been damaged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was no longer mint quality. No. Well. But he was, he was too, so. I mean, after that, we weren't allowed to go into the stores anymore. <laughs> Speaking of damaged, soiled furniture, back to Shadowrun. <laughs> The entire, the entire floor of this tenement has been given over to a chaos of technology and squalor. Across the room, a chromed-out Decker argues loudly with an armed thug, abruptly falling silent as they turn towards you. BTL security. The shotgun-wielding thug squeaks in panic. It's the crew that took out Stevie J's place. I told you it was only a matter of time. The man with the cyberdeck calmly speaks with a heavily digitized voice. You mess with the wrong BTL lab. Oh uh ho. -huh. This is a Yakuza operation. Okay, I assume Aho is some Japanese thing. With a push of a button, I can make these tweakers into my own personal killer puppets. You're fragged. Coyote. Flandry. Don't attack any of the chip heads. They don't know what they're doing, and you could hurt Gino. Archers. No civilian casualties. Got it? Or, I can't promise no chip heads will die. <laughs> I can't promise no chip heads will die. My run, my rules. Nah, you're no fun. But and to be fair, yeah, I actually, I, my playthrough before, I do try, I do avoid killing the, the tweakers. Yeah, I, I was going to say, he has a con uh, concussion grenade. Remember I said it was, it was so. significant that they had those? Yeah. I have a concussion grenade. Better than fragging the tweakers if they get caught in the middle. Also, also if that fails, uh, Coyote has a shotgun with, and the kneecap skill. Dance for me! That's true. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh, yeah. New objective, stop the chip heads from attacking you. Okay. Alright. BTL I operator. No chip heads will die. BTL security. Those... Chip head woman. Chip head dwarf. Chip head man. Yeah, so it's a combination of like actual bad guys and just like their brain brain controlled slaves. First order of business. Activate Johnny Five. <laughs> He goes worrying along. The BT the uh, the chip heads are a lot easier to to hit. I'm I'm guessing be I'm guessing because they're probably just sort of staggering around like zombies and not trying to dodge or anything. Yeah. Also, this over there, the sparklies, that's a spirit summoning point. Right. Last when I played this last time and I was playing more of a magical character, I I summoned it and it kind of. Sort of got out of control and caused a lot of trouble. <laughs> and the, see this, this this icon here. Yes. If you've got like the right uh, Decker skills, you can hack into that. I'm not sure what it does. I'm not sure what that particular one does. Decker's a Decker. Are we not Decker skilled enough? Well, I I have like two, and I only have like two. Also, I don't have a cyber actual cyber deck in my possession. Although not all. I might not need it. It depends. Some decking skill opportunities, it's just a skill check. You don't actually have to go into the matrix. BTL operator. Let's, let's take a few shots at this BTL operator. 
or let's see. Like, they, yeah, they can. These people can go in first, and then. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, see him. Move this guy into position here. Got that seventeen. Oh, he's got a pretty good eight. Got a pretty good hit chance on that. Uh, that BTL operator. And so let's is there. Is there a cap for um, hit chance? Ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent. Okay, so there's always a chance on this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Aimed burst. All right, up to 91%. All right, 15. All right, Coyote. You're up. Nice, right, you got a surprisingly good shot at that. She's going to aim too. Yeah, eighteen that damage. Was it was that that was a guard, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't want to piss Coyote off. I don't want to get on the bad side of anyone who looks like that by choice. They're probably pretty well, mean. Well, if they're new arms, she could probably choke you out. That that's another issue. Yeah. What do I hear from? Well, she'd probably be getting mad if I threw my phos white phosphorus grenades at, the at them as well, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I can't get over how you, you responded. I can't respond. I can't promise, <laughs> I can't that, promise that no chipheads will die. <laughs> and then I'm just imagining you wantonly tossing a white phosphorus grenade <laughs> Into an oncoming crowd. All right. <laughs> but instead of that, a carefully aimed shot at enemy security. Ooh, and a critical hit. 15 damage. Oh, nice. One thing I like about this guy is that critical hits are fairly common. Yeah. As are, you know, like the opposite weak hits. Which, I don't know, I like it to me because it, it kind of makes things more unpredictable. The variability of it. Yeah. There's another guy back here. Notice. I guess it feels, I, uh, the word I would use to describe it would be it makes it feel more action movie. Oh, yeah, like sudden, like, dramatic changes of fortune and... Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. BTL security. Ooh, five. Five for five. Ah! Missed both of them. Remember, shotguns, like, the further back you shoot, like, they start having an area of effect. Right. No, they're not being all that aggr- uh Uh-oh, here comes some more guys. From over there. Whoa, one of them's got a sword. <laughs> I'm gonna move over here, see if in the next. Saying. What's that? I said that's what I've been saying you guys needed. You did. Now, are these both Yakuza Shaman? Be okay, yeah, these are both uh, bad guys. Let's see here. Now, I wouldn't want to throw a grenade at this BTL security guy because there's an innocent chip head next to him. But. Let's see. Shedding concussion grenade. Smoke grenade. Do either of you have any grenades that actually hurt people? Son of a! <laughs> okay. Spray and pray. Two attacks with less chance for critical may hit adjacent characters. Let's let it loose. Nah. I still did seven. Oh, she's hurting. Standard shot. This should be enough to put her down. All right. And now my little robot companion. Yakuza Shaman. Oh, 
Mr. That's a name that I would, uh, or a, uh, title. Like, a, a string of words, I guess, that I would never expect to hear. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that chip had just punched my robot! Uh-oh! So oh, he summoned a spirit. And now they're attacking- they're gonna attack my robot with a sword, aren't they? Oh, no! Ten damage- Johnny Five! What have they done to you? No. I guess I can't really do anything with this node here. Bummer. I don't know, maybe I could take over the chip heads or something? Ah, well. Well, it's not to be. I believe if I take out the shaman, I believe the spirit will dematerialize. I think. Ooh, this guy's dumb out of bullets. Got it! Okay, yeah, and that... Mr. S that spirit just sort of fizzled away. Nice. Alright, reload the shotgun. Alright. Paco's out of b ammo, and... I said one of the cool things about melee attacks is that you is that you can run over... You can attack, it only takes one AP to move a anywhere in your range and attack. Right. So, although unfortunately, the only person I have in range at the moment is Chiphead Man here. So, I'll just, I could just reload. Yeah, I'll just reload. Okay. Slowly. I wonder what this thing is. Hey, he's a speedy little guy. All right, target the Yakuza Decker. Oh man, man, that security's fast. Or did, was, did that take up his whole turn? <laughs> These people are just gathering around, like pummeling a a heavily armed robot with their bare fists. <laughs> oh, Johnny Five is in trouble. I admire their gusto, if nothing else. Yeah. Ooh, Yakuza mage. If Johnny runs out of power, he will die. That is the only line I remember from either of those movies. That and Johnny talking about how he has 500 megabytes of memory. Which is just hilarious that that's apparently what a fully sentient artifi artificial intelligence requires to... Oh, there we, there you go. Who was it? Uh... Bill Gates said something like, no one would ever need more than one megabyte. Of memory for a computer. I don't know who that was. That's a good question. I, 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 I vaguely remember. I vaguely. Re you know, I think I've heard of that. Someone saying that. I couldn't tell you who. Maybe it was IBM. I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. Oh, Johnny! Johnny, no! You know, I just quit. If if he if it's destroyed, do I have to just buy? Do I have to like actually buy a new one? Uh, 
I wonder if you can just salvage it. Well, we're about. To, I'm pretty sure we're gonna find out. Cause farewell, Johnny Five. We shall meet again in Valhalla. Oh no, this could be it. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> Whiff. Oh no, Johnny. Oh, notice that dump shock. Minus two AP. I believe that's what... I think that's what happened when you use too many spells or something. Oh, oh no! That's what happened to me! Dump shot. Because my mind was linked to Johnny Five over there. And now yeah. Johnny Five is no more, so it's like I'm kind of, like, stunned. Oh. That can also happen if you're in the Matrix, like, if you get, like, unplugged abruptly. Dump shock. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, so yeah, I, I lost... I'm down AP for a couple... Okay, only one... Only dump shot... Only one turn, but... That is damned inconvenient. On the other hand, I got these these chip heads right next to each other now, which is... Empty. All right, shotgun. Although, no, she's too close to the chip heads. All right, the decker is down. Oh, and they just lost four AP. Okay, she can do something with this console by running over to it, so... 